Hi, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Vicki here. Um, wanted to do an update with you, okay? We've got some developing things happening, okay? Um, it is August the 22nd, 2018. Oh, and by the way, about 10 o'clock this morning, Central Standard Time, um, about four hours west of here in Kansas, was a 3.7 earthquake. And somehow it just now mysteriously popped up on uh, the global incident map. You know, I've been on there several times today already. It was not there. Now, there's a big, huge, you know, circle there in the state of Kansas. Um, when earthquakes happen, call them in because they will not report them unless there are multiple people calling in reporting they felt the earthquake, okay? So there's that. And I don't care where you are in the world. If you feel an earthquake, call it in. Call your local sheriff's department or, you know, whoever, you know, you can. Call it in. Tell them. So they are forced to report it, okay? All right. Lots to go over, really. But this, with uh, John Bolton, uh, United States National, National Security Advisor, being, uh, have been, be, been in Israel, okay? Um, there's some things coming out on there. I'm so sick of hearing about the collusion stuff with Russia. It's just really old. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can find where it started. I mean, there's just so much going on. It's over the top. Okay. Let's see where did it start. Okay, we went over that yesterday about President Rivlin uh, meeting with John Bolton. We went over that yesterday. Okay, we're going to start. Uh, Facebook takes down 652 accounts linked to Russia and Iran. Free speech going away. Um, here we go. Okay. Bolton says the U.S. not discussing the recognition of Israel's Golan hold. Talking about the Golan Heights, which is in actuality uh, Judea and Samaria. Okay, uh, he uh, said here, the Trump administration is not discussing possible U.S. recognition of Israel's claim of sovereignty over the Golan Heights, U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton said. Israel captured much of the Golan from Syria in 1967 war and annexed it in a move uh, not endorsed internationally in May, a senior Israeli official said that U.S. recognition could be forthcoming within months. I've heard the idea being discussed, but there's no discussion of it, no decision within the United States government, Bolton told uh, 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 routers during a visit to Israel. Obviously, we understand the Israeli claim that it has been annexed, that it has annexed the Golan Heights. We understand their position, but there's no change in the U.S. position for now. This isn't looking very good at all. Um, the land belongs to Israel. That's my claim, that's the Bible's claim, the word of the living God, Yahweh's claim, and his son, the Lord, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Um, and I'm going to stand on that truth, amen? And I know y'all are going to stand there with me on it. Uh, let's get past the Manafort and the, all this junk. Oh, listen to this. Donald Trump, Israel will pay a higher price for 
his recognition of Jerusalem as its capital. Uh, United States President Donald Trump said on Tuesday, yesterday, that Israel would have to pay a higher price in negotiations with the Palestinians in return for his May recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. And this was a uh, quote here. And you know what? In the negotiation, Israel will have to pay a higher price because they won a very big thing, but I took it off the table, he continued, as he addressed the crowds at a campaign rally in Charleston, West Virginia, last evening, on Tuesday evening. He took it off the table. Really? Uh, yeah, a higher price that <laughs> us red-blooded Americans that stand with Israel and stand with God's word are probably going to end up being paid the price for. It's just ridiculous. Um, and then Iran. Senior Iran cleric, okay? says, Iran will target the United States allies if it, t it attacks, okay? And this guy, uh, Ahmed uh, Khatami, told, hush, no, told worshipers attending their prayer vigils they're having in uh, Tehran that the United States President Donald Trump's offer for direct talks with Iranian leaders was unacceptable. Americans say you should accept what we say in the talks. So this is not negotiation, but dictatorship. The Islamic Republic and the Iranian nation would stand up against dictatorship. <laughs> Katami was quoted as saying by a Mizan news agency, Dictatorship? Are you serious? Iran, the plethora of evil and, and dictatorship. You're going to call us dictatorship? Seriously. That, that article, when I read it earlier, I laughed. I literally laughed. What does the Lord say? Laughter does the heart good like a medicine. Amen? Dictatorship. They're the dictatorship. Evil wickedness. I just, it's just over the top. Um. Bolton, again, John Bolton. Uh, he comes out and said, Israeli attacks on the Iranian missiles in Syria was self-defense, okay? So that's a good thing um, on that portion. Um, then is this. Bolton says there is no timetable for Trump's Mideast peace plan. No timetable. Okay, Bolton said on Wednesday in Jerusalem that a lot of progress has been made, but he refused to speculate what the plan entailed or when it may be publicized. Publicized. United States President Donald Trump's administration recently began uh, staffing its Mideast policy uh, team ahead of the plan's expected release, okay? And then Hamas. Trump's statements about Jerusalem are dangerous. Really? Hamas. Islamic terror organization. Hamas. Dangerous. What else was there? Iran's Revolutionary Guard says will raise their defensive capabilities. Okay. Putin says Trump meeting was useful uh, and deplores the United States sanctions. Putin also came out and said that they must strengthen its military infrastructure due to NATO. Okay. 
some 1,000 housing units approved, they said, in settlements. They're talking about in the Golan, in Judea and Samaria. They're going to they're gonna be building, building homes. Build it. They're coming home. Build it. It's going to be a mass exodus, y'all. I don't know if we're going to be here for it. I don't think we will be. The rise of anti-Semitism across the whole earth is just off the charts. Let's see what else was there. I think that might have been it. Oh, and then this guy's got more lives than a cat, okay? He's got more than nine lives. ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, in his first reported speech in nearly a year, has called on followers to persevere, according to a statement posted on the group's media outlet. For the Mujahideen, the holy warriors, the scale of victory or defeat is not dependent on a city or a town being stolen or subject to that who has aerial superiority intercontinental missiles or smart bomb or smart bombs Baghdadi said in a recorded posted on his Al Farjan media group that guy I don't even know if he's still alive or if that's just all propaganda nobody's seen him per se and supposedly every time we turn around either the US got him or somebody else got him or he's hurt and wounded and he's somewhere in the mountains in a cave Crap somewhere, who knows? Um, but anyway, back to the peace. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me grab the Bible. Okay, in Daniel, in the book of Daniel, uh, let me find it real quick. Daniel 9, Daniel 9. Um, this right here, I believe we're seeing this, you know, we're witnessing this right here. Now listen and understand. Seven, Daniel 9, verse 25. Now listen and understand. Seven sets of seven plus 62 sets of seven will pass from the time the command is given to rebuild Jerusalem until the anointed one comes. Jerusalem will be rebuilt with streets and strong defenses despite the perilous times. Okay, they're building, they're building. After this period of 62 sets of seven, the anointed one will be killed. See, somewhere in between this, we are going to be gone. The anointed one is the Antichrist, is who they're talking about. Who's going to come once they get the temple built and... He'll come in and he will, you know, desecrate the temple by claiming that he is God, okay? But then we go back over here. Let's see, where was it? Here it is right here. 2 Thessalonians, verse 3. I mean, not verse 3. Verse 2, chapter 2. 2, Th 2 Thessalonians, 2, chapter 7. Um, I mean, verse 7. For this lawlessness is already at work secretly, and it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. Then the man of lawlessness will be revealed, okay, whom the Lord Jesus will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the splendor of his coming, okay? But the lawlessness, okay, we're, we're witnessing all this right now, okay, um, we're, we're about to be removed. The bride is leaving, the bride of Christ, the church. Those of us who have been waiting and yearning for the Lord Jesus Christ to come, we are leaving. Glory, hallelujah, glory. You know, I pray y'all are seeing this, okay. They cannot release this plan unveil the plan okay until the restrainer steps aside which is the holy spirit and those of us that are still here okay 
because it, it cannot happen until the Lord says it can happen. Amen? Okay. Well, I love you guys. Stand strong in the faith. I pray this message was a blessing to you. And they keep pushing peace and peace and peace and security. And there's just mass chaos everywhere, all over the earth. The earthquakes, you know, the, the seas are roaring. Uh, volcanoes are splitting open. Um, it's just amazing the things that we are witnessing. Just try to stay in uh, overflowing, overflowing hope in the power of the Holy Spirit, okay? I love you guys, and if anything should happen between now and whenever, <laughs> I'll be sure to get on here. I love you guys. We'll talk soon. Maranatha.